I'll never forget the first moment I saw a 9-11. And I'll never forget the silhouette. There's just something so beautiful and so iconic about that image. This brand hooked me. When I started racing with Porsche, I didn't just feel the speed. I felt the connection. It was like being part of this really unique, special family. And today, this family lets me into the most sacred place. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Patrick. Um, contractor or supplier? There's this little town outside of Stuttgart, around 7,500 inhabitants. And then there's just as many Porsche employees developing these dream machines. Precision, German style, and I love it. And in Weissach, everything is top secret. So German engineering, the perfection. And honestly, I've always wondered what's behind it. What's the magic? Where does it come from and why? Hey, Patrick. Hey, Frank. Good to have you here. Great to be here. Yeah. <laughs> let's go inside, come on. Great. Frank, is that what I think it is? Yes, it is. This is the very first 911 Turbo S from 1992. Only 86 of them built. Wow. Back then, it was our base model for the GT race cars in the US. It's beautiful. Ready for the reveal? Show me the next icon. Here we go. There it is. Oh, Frank, it's gorgeous. I totally agree. <laughs> I get goosebumps. It's beautiful. The new body looks muscular and seriously modern. But the first thing that catches your eye is the new front. So this is the active cooling vents, right? Yes, exactly. Beautiful. I love this color. A lot of little detail here. They have new air vents and titanium tailpipes. The perfect match for the rear. Beautiful. So, what's inside? We've upgraded our most advanced engine, the 3.6 liter T-Hybrid with the second electric turbo. And rumor has it it's the most powerful street legal 911 ever made. It is, wow. 711 horses. Really? And 800 Newton meter of torque. Oh, gosh. We've also fine-tuned the suspension mm -hmm. and the aerodynamics is more intelligent than ever before. How does that translate to the road? On the famous Nordschleife, the new 911 Turbo S is 14 seconds quicker than the previous one, down to seven minutes and three seconds, without Ooh. sacrificing comfort or day-to-day -day usability. Oh, 9 to 11, gotta go. It takes me eight minutes to the test bench, important meeting. A special ID card, your access to the wind tunnel and the engine department. Have fun. Ah, oh, fantastic, thank you. Oh, yes. Okay, let's see what this magical little card has to offer. And when we're here in Weissach, it's like we're all kids uh, in a candy store. Vorsicht! Hello? Hello? What are you doing here? What? Hi. Hi. Sorry. It's forbidden to be here. It's so beautiful though. I know, I know. But uh, we are not allowed to stay here. Right. Sorry. Yeah, I wouldn't want to get sucked into it. <laughs> <laughs> here we are, in their hairs of the winter. Ah, grazie. So, prego. <laughs> Burn, so good to see you. 
Hello, Patrick. I was wondering if you got lost. Oh, no, 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 no. I had an opportunity to kind of uh, sneak around. I got the special card from Frank, so okay. thank you. Okay. So let's talk to OS and aerodynamics. Beautiful. I'd love that. We have uh, big improvements. So mm -hmm. we have 10% less drag. Really? Than the previous model. Uh-huh. And the best drag coefficient of 0.3, which is really impressive mm -hmm. for such a wide car and that tire dimensions. Right. And where did you find the most gain? We did some improvements in the underbody flow. Okay. Some new components that cover, for example, the rear axle. Uh -huh. And we also improved the active aerodynamics. I will show you in detail. Okay, great. So, Bern, tell me what's going on now. Yeah, the previous Turbo S already had some active error elements. Uh -huh. For example, the rear wing right. that rises uh, depending on speed and the driving situation. So, here you can see we still have the inflatable front spoiler, mm -hmm. which creates a lot of downforce. And we optimize the variable air cooling flaps, so we better control in our thermodynamics and drag. <laughs> And we have a new and, and very effective uh, feature. It's an active uh, front diffuser. You can't see it now because it's located here at the under, underbody. All right there. What's really impressive is just, it's just small little fine tuning and refinement, isn't it? Exactly, hey. it's in the details. Yeah. for Sorry, gotta go. Okay. Must be some sort of secret code word. Elf Tricic. Lunchtime. Mahlzeit. Mahlzeit. Mahlzeit? Mahlzeit. What? If you go to Weissach, there's so much magical energy here. Engine development's got to be around here somewhere. Patrick. Matthias. Hello. Hello. I'm glad you found us down here. Yeah, I got the, the, got the key. I'm just uh, go through a technical debrief from the 911 Turbo S together with my suspension colleague. Great. Welcome. Do you want to join us? Yes, please. I'd love to. Thank you. Oh, wow. Oh, so that's the, that's the turbo. Yes, that's the e-turbo. And it's one of the most important components of the drivetrain. Mm -hmm. And that's how the turbo can boost and recuperate. What a great perspective. That's great to see it at this size. But what's the actual size like in the car? Please stretch out your right hand. <laughs> this is the e-turbo in real size. And now you can stretch out your left hand. Oh, wow, look at that. So we use two turbos to massively increase the engine power. And each of them is lighter and more compact than the mono turbo in the GTS. This is so cool. And now you see here's a complete package. Mm. In the front, there is the exhaust system. Mm -hmm. In the middle, there is the intake system. On the right, on the left side, are the turbochargers. And here in the middle are all the control units that we need to run the system. Do you want to see the engine in action? Yeah. Look over there. The sound is incredible. Oh yeah, I love it. And the chassis also profits from the high voltage system. The new electrohydraulic Porsche Dynamic chassis control acts even quicker than the previous system. So that really helps you in the corners, doesn't it? Yes, it helped us to improve stability and agility at the same time. Wow. But maybe you should try yourself on our test track, the Prüfgelände. Oh yeah, yes, absolutely. <laughs> that was great, wasn't it? I love a little theory, but what I really need right now is a little bit Oh, more theory. Jason. Oh, hey, Patrick. I can't say I'm too surprised to see you here. You race these cars, yeah? Yes, I do. We've got a little intervention for you today. Oh, God. I don't think there's enough math in your life. Uh -huh. And I'm here to change that. Oh, fantastic. So, Patrick, I'm going to teach you how to calculate the zero to 200 and back down to zero kilometers per hour time for the new 911 Turbo S. Okay, let's do it. All we're trying to figure out is this T right here. We know our change in velocity already. It's 200 kilometers per hour, right? Acceleration equals force divided by mass. Okay, great. 
That's all we need. The thing is, there's a lot of forces. So the car, of course, is trying to accelerate the vehicle with the traction force. This one, this one right here, is equal to mass times acceleration. That's the A we're looking for. We also have to keep in mind aerodynamic drag. We have to think about rolling resistance. Uh -huh. We have to think about rotational acceleration, like the wheels and tires and brake rotors and drive shafts. Are you with me so far? Okay, great. So we need to solve all of this for that A. So we're gonna ignore and we're gonna say we're on a flat surface so we don't need to think about gravity pulling the car downhill. What is this block right here? I have no idea. It's a little chunk of time. Okay. So all we're doing is we're just adding up these little chunks of time. We're finding the area under the curve. This is like baby calculus. It's pretty cool. Time is equal to the integral of our velocity from one point to another of the inverse of acceleration with respect to velocity. Using the actual numbers from Porsche, as well as some of my own estimates, mm. we take our total acceleration time, we take our total braking time, we add them together, and what do we get? 12.7 seconds. Well, let's see if your math is right. <laughs> ah, yes, let's do that. Thank you, Jason. You're a gay. How are you doing? Good. Long time. So you. good to see well, you. Good. How you been? Good. Good. Great. Have you been to the track? Uh, it's been a while. Well, I show you the line. Thanks, Jace. Okay. <laughs> great. Yeah. See you, man. Okay. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Awesome. Oh, this is fantastic. The car gets always better and better. The power output you could just feel yeah. is incredible. Uh, with a T-Hybrid, it's just amazing. The acceleration uh, is incredible. The E-Turbo, just a huge step forward for me. Drivability of the engine is amazing. Right. And for me, it's just a perfect mixture of comfortability on the highway right but still it's super sporty and you can just play around with the car so much right really perfect car oh shit look at that i can't wait for me to drive now and you get to sit in this seat <laughs> <laughs> all right let's go I'm getting comfortable with this now. How are you doing over there? That's, that's comfortable. <laughs> I'll tell you, the braking is really nice. Really predictable. Yeah. It doesn't have that sort of over-grippy thing. <laughs> yeah, biggest brakes ever on a 911, man. Suspension is really something else. Yeah, we have a Porsche Dynamic Chassis Control, like uh -huh. you know from the previous turbos. Um, but now we have an electro-hydraulic system. Um, so we use a high-voltage battery uh, to power it, so the system is even quicker. So on the direction changes, the car is even more crisp and more precise. So right. for me, it works really, really well. A little bit drift there. <laughs> Don't kill me, mate! <laughs> So, with all of these numbers that we're hearing about, are they absolutely true? Is it all BS? There's only one way to find out. All right, let's go talk to the yeah. F4. You need to get out of the car, you're too oh, heavy, no, mate. I'm just starting to have fun now. <laughs> all right, we start with the launch. Zero, 200, zero. Two hundred to zero. Wow, that was quick. Twelve point six. He was right. Good job. All right, let's talk to Jason. Twelve point six seconds. Perhaps Jorg skipped breakfast. It's the perfect supercar. You can use it as a daily driver. You can take it to the track. It has the performance, the reliability. Absolutely brilliant. Hey, I've got a little bit of time before my next flight. Are you up for a bit more whiteboard math? Uh, you know, I forgot something in the car. Jorg, 
He oh. loves, yeah. loves math. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Good morning. Hi, good morning. Patrick. Contractor or supplier? Uh, international movie star. Uh, right. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Hello, Byrne. Hello, Patrick. Good to see you. I was, I was, uh, wait a minute. You were, you're, you're absent-minded. What is it? I was wondering. Let's start off. over. <laughs> then I'll show you the line. Oh, right? come on. Let me go first. <laughs> see you, Jason. Oh, it's lost. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I don't think there's enough math in your life. Oh, really? And we're here to change that. Thank you. Fantastic. <laughs> Not